Good afternoon and welcome to another segment of Arsenal in News on Cannon for the TV. So I hope you guys are okay this uh, Monday uh, afternoon, evening. Yeah, it's like 10 past six now. So uh, yeah, so just get straight into it. Um, a couple of bits of news. I'm not sure if you could tell by the, uh, the thumbnail. But um, the one news that kind of kind of hit me in the face uh, this afternoon was Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry, probably one of the one of the best players I've, I've, I saw playing the red and white of Arsenal. Maybe, maybe. Um, he's been listed as the favourites uh, to take over at Swansea. Yes, Swansea City. So they're looking for Graham Potter's replacement, and apparently Thierry Henry is one of the favourites. But this news comes out from Wales Online. I said, well, my brother lives out there in Wales. I'm not sure why he didn't do this segment of um, Arsenal News. But it says here um, that a number of names have been linked with the position, most recently West Brom's assistant Michael Appleton, who many will remember as the, the man who masterminded Oxford United's shock win over Swansea in 2016. Uh, talks for the club are already believed to have taken place. Appleton is not seen as a favourite with the book is with Tramere Rovers book, uh, Mickey Mellon, continuing to lead the way. However, it says, however, the former Arsenal striker has been out of management work since being sacked. Yeah, do you remember that? He was sacked by Monaco in January. Having previously worked as a uh, number two uh, to former Swansea boss, Roberto Martinez with Belgium, he would have had every opportunity to find out what would be required to su success at the Liberty Stadium. I mean, guys, you know, what do you think? Do you think, um, is Thierry Henry ready? Is he ready to take up uh, a managerial position, um, you know, with any club, knowing you know, what really happened uh, his time at Monaco? Do you think he's ready? I mean, you look at So Campbell. He's doing... Quite well, isn't he? He's doing very, very well. You know, very understated. Literally just going under the radar. And um, but I'm just thinking, is Thierry Henry really, really ready to, to, you know, to be a manager soon after, you know, being sacked by Monaco? You know, guys, what do you think? What do you think? I think um, there's been lots of people been saying with Thierry Henry and his time at Monaco there, it was... It was too much of a, of, a, of a big job for him to take there uh, at Monaco. And maybe it was his, um, a little bit of his arrogance, if I dare say that. But Thierry Henry, do you think he should, be, he, he should take up this position um, at Swansea? Or do you think he should leave it for a while? Maybe just go at the lower leagues and then try and build himself up just like Sol Campbell has. So I don't know if there's anyone in the chat. So just looking here now. Let's have a look. So yeah, you know, guys. So what, you know, what do you think, Terry Henry? Should he really be back in that managerial um, positions just soon after getting um, sacked at Monaco? So there's a couple of um, comments. We've got um, Elaine Sharp. Good evening, Elaine. We've got to get you on the easy talk, but. You know, we'll, 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 we'll talk about that. But anyway, Elaine says, he probably should get back on the horse. Okay. I don't think he should go to Swansea, though. I, I agree. I, I wouldn't want him to go to uh, Swansea. It's, again, just follow Sol Campbell. Try and follow Sol Campbell's um, blueprint. He's very understated. And I forget the name of the team that he's managing now. But, um, yeah, Sol Campbell, he's done quite well. I think, did he um, help the team... Um, get out of the relegation zone but yeah Macclesfield that's it thank you Lane Macclesfield yes and then we've got uh, Richard from Arsenal TV Terry Honest should have started with a small team before thinking of taking on a big role like Monaco I absolutely agree with you Richard but again I think it may be probably a little bit of arrogance and maybe his pride as well you know but don't get me wrong I love Terry Henry, but I think maybe he should just go build himself up, you know, for a lower team. It doesn't have to be, you know, in the English league. It can be somewhere, you know, in, an, in another part of Europe. It doesn't have to be here. It doesn't have to be here. 
And um, yeah, Elaine, yeah, Elaine Sharp does say it's Macclesfield. So thank you for that. And there's another bit of news as well. Eddie Nketia. Yes, I've kind of just started this little, you know, the segment. I just try and uh, announce birthdays. So Eddie Nketia turned 20 last week. It was last week, Friday. You know, so he's now, he's no longer a teenager. He is a, a big man now. You know, so um, happy birth, ha happy 20th birthday to Eddie and Ketia. And I hope we see a lot more of Eddie in um, the first team, the Red and White of Arsenal. I think he, you know, he's earned, he's earned his stripes. You know, can we, can we say that? He's earned his stripes? Uh, I'm not so sure about that. But, um, yeah, so that's the two bit of news I saw there. There, there are other bits and pieces of news, but... I'm going to maybe announce that maybe later on um, in the week, not now. Um, just a slight um, bit of information. In regards to the competition, because I have said on more than one occasion that we're going to have an end-of-season meet-up. Um, we're going to be filming outside uh, the Emirates Stadium, and then we're going to be going to uh, a local restaurant with almost all the people um, who have appeared on Canon Foy TV. That date is going to change. Uh, the reason being, oh, sorry about that, um, is because there's going to be another person who hopefully he's going to come along. So we've had to change the date. But I want to give you some more information uh, closer to the time. But again, um, let's just see here. There's been some more comments here in the chat. Lit Steiner has also confirmed that he's leaving Arsenal, which we already knew. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you know, like I've said, you know, on the get go, I'm not going to do any transfer news. You know, players coming in and out of Arsenal. You know, if you want to get that information there, there's there's lots, there's lots of, of YouTube channels out there fighting for the space to give you breaking news. But um, yeah, yeah, I did see about Lichtsteiner. And Elaine says he's ambitious. He's ambitious. Thought it was interesting how he didn't square the ball to Orba and. <laughs> but he fought a hat trick. <laughs> uh, that, that's a good one, Elaine. <laughs> uh, yeah. Bye, Ibrahim. Good evening, Ba. How are you? A long time. Long time. Any questions? Any questions for me before I'm going to wrap up this segment of Arsenal in News? Okay. I think um, he said he's okay because he's given like the muscle and. Yeah, emojis. Yeah. I've also been, you know, tweeting as well today um, between myself, uh, James Rowe, and Elaine Sharp um, about, you know, the whole, you know, set up their arsenal. You know, it's just, it's a whole, it's a big mess there. And um, Ivan Gazidis, or Ivan Gazidis. Yeah, he left Arsenal in a big mess, but I don't want to get into that. You know, I'm, I'm already hurting from um, last week Wednesday's um, defeat there. But okay, uh, bye, Ibrahim. Uh, I'm fine, and you? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, Mube Guna, the bubble from another mother. Yo, what's happening, bro? Yes, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, we did the last um, easy talk of the season finally. Um, with the guys who've seen Richard uh, Ray from um, Arsenal Fan Circle. Guys, make sure you go over to Ray's channel, Arsenal Fan Circle. Go over there and subscribe to his channel, please. I'm begging you. Also, you know, subscribe to um, Richard's channel, um, Arsenal TV. Um, some good, some good um, content there as well. Uh, okay, any questions before I wrap up this segment of Arsenal News? Thierry Henry. Second place, well, second favourite to manage Swansea City. I'm not so sure about that. And Eddie Nketiah turns, well, he turned 20 last week. Any any other things you, you guys want to talk about before I wrap it up? He needs a loan. What do you mean? He needs money, Elaine. No, I'm joking. I know what you mean. <laughs> he needs a loan. Um, does he need to be put out on loan? 
Ah, I don't know. That's a tough one. That's a tough one because you know, like we've been, you know, we said yesterday on um, Ray's channel. I want the youth to come through. I want them to be given a chance. This, you know, this, you know, next season. I really want to see them young guys come through because Elaine, like I said to you, and you know, on, a, on a, the tweets there, you know, Tony Adams, David O'Leary, you know, Rocky, Michael Thomas. You know, Paul Davis, all those players, Charlie George, they came through the youth system. And you, you have to you have to take a risk. You have to take a risk. You know, so I I want to see these young players be given a chance. But why why do you say, you know, you want um Eddie to be put out on loan, Elaine? Has he not um impressed much this season for you? Okay, I think Reese and Joe uh, will definitely get promoted to the first team. Eddie might, and he should be. We're bringing in another striker. Uh, Mube Guna, I totally agree with you, bro. Yeah, I just want, you know, uh, I do find myself, you know, repeating the same thing. You know, the thing is it's there, it's laid out there. With the budget to spend on new, on new players, does anyone really know how much money we're going to have to spend on these new players? Does anyone honestly know, apart from the board members there, you know, Binai and uh, Raul? But knowing the budget is going to be so tight, and we, we have seen this season what the players have not brought to the table. Unai Emery, if you really want us to make a statement of intent, bring in and play these youngsters. The younger, the more hungry, they will give you the passion because they will know what it means to play for the red and white of Arsenal. But I just think, you know, it's been lost in translation where we're, we're you know, we're, we're looking for the next best thing out there. Look to the homegrown players, Unai Emery, I'm begging you, please, if you want to make that big statement of intent, get rid of all the players. I'm not going to mention any of the, the, the any individuals because <coughs> you know on Canon Follow TV my opinion about certain players out there. So, Emery, again, if you want to make a statement of intent, bring in the youth players. And as Elaine says there, you know, Reese Nelson, Joe Willock, maybe play Medley, Mavropanos. Play them. Play them, Smith Rowe. All these guys still have yet to come back. You know, bring them back. Bring them back. Okay, quickly back into the chat before I leave this segment. And Mube Guna saying, uh, with Welbeck leaving, Eddie time is Eddie's time now or never. That should have read, um, but we're, we're bringing in another striker. Okay, yeah. I understood you, I think, the first time. I do not want to see Mustafi in the team of Arsenal. We're going over old ground here by Ibrahim. Yeah, we, we, I think we, we are all in agreement that we do not want to see Mustafi. And uh, after TV, I agree, bro. Mube. Central back, left back is our priority for me. Um, and then Sharp says, I think he's been told you play the youngsters. I hope so. Please, I want to see new phases. Young phases come at Arsenal. You know, I, and again, it's not a session to bash the players because I'm done with the players there. Bring in new, fresh, hungry, passionate players who want to play for Arsenal. I've watched... Uh, Bramall in the academy side and he's not a bad left back. Can I just ask what you think about um, Emmy coming back as backup goal? Yes! Yeah. Yeah, why not? Why not bring him in? And I, felt, I kind of felt sorry for him because you know, with the situation with um, David Ospina there, you know, personally Personally, I, I would have had him come, come back. I was done with Czech long time ago. I was done with him. You know, even from the point where he he announced his retirement, then why didn't he leave at that point? 
But yeah, I would have Emmy back, you know, as you know, as a backup goalkeeper. And then we've got um, uh, I Fit Boy is uh, Massimiliano Allegri, the right coach. We're not at that stage yet. We're not at that stage yet because Emmy's just finished. He just finished his first season at Arsenal. So for me, the Allegri. Um, conversation is not it shouldn't be anywhere near Arsenal again repeating the same old thing support Unai Emery back him up let him do his thing let him do his thing you know what he's made mistakes this season and he's only human and he's asked his players to do certain things that A they're not used to which is run and defend and B, they've 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 demonstrated they're not capable to to modify and and fit into different systems, and I think that's been one of the the, the fantastic things about the IX mentality that players get asked to do different things. They're trained. They're trained to do that, but you know, when you've got players who only have one gear and they can't move up a gear. This is what we get. This is what we get. Right, so um, before I wrap up this segment, I've just seen Paul Smith come in. Hi, Paul Smith, I hope you're well. Um, if you're just passing by, you've just seen uh, Canon 42 for the first time, and you like what you see, you're not obliged to, but make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification button like this. or well, not like that, but like this. So you can uh, get all, all the latest and greatest news on Canon Foyer TV. And um, there's going to be a couple of competitions coming up soon as well. And um, yeah, I hope, I hope you like what you see so far. So quickly, back in the chat before I end up this segment, because it's gone on longer than I thought. Um, I live in Reading, and some of the saves Emmy made were amazing. Try and watch some YouTube videos if there are some out there. I will definitely, I will definitely do that. Um, Elaine uh, I want a central def defender but Bob we've got a central defender Socrates Socrates is a central defender what about Medley play, play uh, Medley no ok any more comments before I wrap up this segment of Arsenal in news no transfer news, just Arsenal generic news. Okay. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this segment of Arsenal news. Um, guys, thank you so very much for coming into the chat. Uh, I'm so grateful. And like I always say, without any subscribers, any views, uh, any followers... There can never, ever be a Canon for a TV. But anyhow, you've been watching this segment of our Arsenal News. Thierry Henry, imagine, imagine his second favourite to be manager at Swansea City. Don't do it, Thierry. Don't do it. And birthday boy, Eddie Nketiah, turns 20, or turned 20 last week. Thank you, guys. And